Hi there, this is Ranjit and I have this Honor 7 with me and in this video we'll be doing the unboxing and here it just specifies some of the specs and uh, this is the Huawei Honor 7, uh, the flagship by Honor and it has some pretty impressive specs uh, and it is having its own uh, SoC, that's the current 935 chipset uh, which is a octa core. I'll talk about the specs later so this is the handset itself and as you can see it's very sleek to look at. Uh, we'll come back to the handset a bit later let's see what else do we get in the box and we have a booklet over here and we also have the sim ejector tool so let me take that out and uh, let's look at what else do we get we get some imi numbers and some documentation a uh, very spartan i would say almost nothing so let me keep this thing to the side and uh, we have two other boxes so let's see and uh, uh, we have the power adapter uh, which is a normal 5, amp, uh, 5 volt 2 amp uh, uh, power brick but this device does support quick charging but if you want quick charging you have to buy the quick charger separately and uh, this should have been the what do you say USB cable that is missing this is a review unit so that was missing but we should also have a, a usb cable so it was missing on my review unit uh, anyways let's keep these things to the side and let's look at the handset itself and this is the handset itself and as you can see uh, it sports a 5.2 inch ips grade screen and let me just power it on and it's a 1080p panel that we get and we have the power button over here by the time it actually boots let me give you a physical overview we have the ir blaster so that's a nice thing you can control devices like televisions etc a 3.5 mm headphone jack secondary noise cancellation microphone and uh, we have the volume rocker and the power button which actually looks really cool here we have the uh vents for the speaker micro usb slot that'll be used for charging this uh, device and on this end we also have extra key uh, we have to check if this key is customizable and this is our sim tray let me just pop that and it started to boot and as you can see we can add our uh, what do you say micro sd card and our sim card over here so let me actually now quickly just set this up and then we'll continue and regarding Wi-Fi, it does support both the 2.4 as well as the 5 GHz Wi-Fi band. So let me just set this up and we'll continue. And we also have a fingerprint ID and we can set that up. I'll just skip that for now. And out of the box, it comes uh, with Android Lollipop and it also has the voice uh, wake up uh, command. Uh, we'll just skip this for the time being and this should be done. And it uh, runs a custom UI known as Emotion UI. Uh, though it's running uh, Android Lollipop, uh, that is the custom UI that we get. And uh, as you can see, we have notifications and we have the auto brightness sensor. Uh, so again, like uh, most of these Chinese vendors, we don't have an app tray. So all the icons would be over here. And let's look at the Android version that we get out of the box. And if we go to shortcuts settings and let it load. Okay. And if we go to about the device and as you can see it runs on the emotion ui 3.1 and uh, it is running on the android version that is 5.0.2 which is lollipop and uh, as you can see it runs on a custom uh, soc that's the high silicon current 935 which is actually an octa core processor and it comes with three gigabytes of ram and regarding the internal storage uh, it comes with 16 gigabytes and out of that we get 9.64 gigabytes of space that is available to us we can also add a micro sd card as i have mentioned so it looks like uh, so these are the google apps so we have folder support and uh, we have quite a bit of apps that are actually pre-installed we also have fm radio so that option is there and as you can see quite a bit of apps that are pre-installed we also have a file manager that is pre-installed so that's nice and uh, so there is a little bit of bloatware that is actually pre-installed on the device and uh, looks uh, 
uh, responsive and before we continue let me give you a configuration overview this honor 7 is powered by the octa core current 935 uh, chipset which is actually a 8 core processor divided into two quad cores the first powerful one is uh, clocked at 2.2 gigahertz and that is based on the arm cortex a53 and the other quad core is clocked at 1.5 gigahertz that is also based on the arm cortex a53 so it's 64 bit enabled it has 3 gigabytes of ram regarding the gpu it has the mali t628 gpu 16 gigabytes gigabytes of internal storage micro sd card support it has a 5.2 inch 1080p screen and it runs custom ui known as the emotion ui moving towards the camera it has a 20 megapixel rear facing camera and an 8 megapixel front facing camera we also have this fingerprint uh, uh, sensor the battery is actually sealed inside which is a 3100 milliamp hour battery and this product is sold in india via flipkart for 23000 so the configuration actually looks uh, really good but i need to test how well this uh, what do you say chipset uh, handles games and stuff that'll be interesting to see and uh, let's actually we are as we are connected let's fire up the chrome uh, web browser and let me just accept this no thanks uh, okay got it so this is the stock keyboard that we get. And let's go to techmimi.com and it should go to the mobile uh, version as, as you can see. Let's uh, force it to the desktop variant. And it loaded it fine. And regarding the screen, I would say the screen quality is good. As you can see, uh, if we even tilt, it is good. And this is the multitasking uh, tree again, as you can see, uh, let's flick up. It says to clear all the apps. So if we clear all the apps, we get 2.1 gigabyte of space uh, word memory free out of that three gigabytes. Uh, so that is interesting. And let's do one thing. Let's also quickly look at the camera. Uh, they say it's a, what do you say? 20 megapixel rear facing camera. And looks like we also have a front facing flash uh, with the camera. I'll just cancel this location services. So let me bring some objects. As you can see, I'm tilting the phone to extreme angles. Then also, uh, because it's IPS grade screen, you can see stuff. And we have the tap to focus. And uh, actually, Honor claims that the fingerprint scanner on this is really, really fast. And uh, it can also double up as other gestures we can customize that one. So we took a bunch of uh, snaps and let's look at the settings. So we have a lot of modes. So I'll test all this when I do my full review, but let's look at the pictures that we took. Uh, initial impressions, the pictures look to be, uh, this came out blurry. Uh, so you have to have stable hands, otherwise the pictures can come out to be blurry. But again, as you can see, this pic came out good. And um, the fingerprint scanner is supposed to be actually really uh, well implemented on this one. Uh, the Honor team was touting uh, a lot about this fingerprint ID. And we can actually uh, enable some gestures with this one. For example, uh, let's say uh, if you want the back to home, you can just hold it. Or if you just swipe it up, you can actually customize this. And if you go to the fingerprint, I have to just set this up. So I'll uh, do all these things uh, later on. And in my full review, I will test out all these features and let you guys know how is the performance. If you have any specific questions around this Honor 7, do post them in the YouTube comments and I'll try to include them in my review. And if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.